my name is Henry Kalunji, and I'm doing a presentation for my writing class 465 by Miss Mark Duffy. Uh, my project is about purchasing a well-conditioned bath for the winter Patriot department. Uh, this is my background <coughs> about Wintrop, the athletic department. Wintrop University has a total of 6,328 undergraduates and graduate students. And of all these students, 237 are student athletes. And the athletic department has two buses that are not in good condition. So my project is especially focusing on trying to see that we can be able to get our condition bus. So as my purpose states, <coughs> the, athletic uh, the athletic department needs to save uh, enough money to be able to purchase a well conditioned bus that can transport student athletes to various places. And this will help <coughs> the athletic department to save money and the school as well. And it will help also to prevent problems that often arise from the rented buses while transporting the student athletes. And it will also allow uh, Winthrop to be independent from renting all the buses all the time when <coughs> student athletes are traveling. I was able to do my research and it was, I did some interviews and also passed out surveys. <coughs> my interview was with the athletic director, Mr. Tom Hickman, and he gave me some information on how the athletic department runs. He told me they normally spend over a top $100,000 a year, and this year they were spending uh, $140,000 on renting buses. And also he told me there is no money set aside to purchase a bus, because I was asking him about the options of purchasing a bus soon, and he told me there is no money set aside to purchase a bus, but they have looked into purchasing a small bus that can carry 16 to 24 people, and then they will be able to divert money that they can be used to maybe buy buses. Also, he told me that even if they purchase one bus, it won't be enough to <coughs> transport all the student athletes all the time because most of the time there's one or more teams traveling at the same time. And I distributed 37 surveys to student athletes and my questions focused on gender, classification, type of sport, the number of times they traveled a month, then the problems they experienced while traveling on rented buses. I also asked those who would be in favor of the new bus and what they would love to travel on, either the school bus or the rented buses. And my results <coughs> on the gender, out of the 37 student athletes that took the survey, 22 were male and 15 were female, which as the percentage, the percentage shows 59 <coughs> were male, so it was taken especially by the male students, student athletes, and 41 were female. Then my classification, <coughs> I interviewed freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. And uh, as you can see, out of the 37 student athletes that I surveyed, 18 were freshmen, seven were sophomores, nine were juniors, and three were seniors. So <coughs> my survey was done mostly by the freshmen student athletes. <coughs> then I also asked how many times they traveled the bus, and I was able to find like uh, 12 traveled on rented buses one to two times per month, 14 traveled <coughs> on the rented buses three to four times per month, and 11 traveled on the rented buses more than five times per month. So that means Winthrop at large, in one month, they experience a lot of travel back and forth to various places of participation. I also asked the results about those who had trouble with rented buses, and 
Out of the 37 Syrian armies that I surveyed, 18 said they had experienced problems with uh, the rented buses, and 19 said they have not had any trouble with rented buses. But as I was at Winflow, I was also a student athlete, so while traveling, sometimes we experience problems with the, with the rented buses. For example, one time we were traveling up to Greensboro, and our bus broke down, and we had to get late to the game, which affected us, but luckily enough, our team was good, we were able to win. So if we get a good bus, <coughs> the school will be able to monitor it, and they will know how we, the condition the bus is in, and then it will help to save us time while going to participate. Also, my question about those student athletes that were in favor of the school getting a new bus, and those who are not in favor, these were my results. Out of the 37 student athletes I surveyed, 28 were in favor of the affected department purchasing a new bus, whereas only nine were not in favor. So this means most of the students are interested in the new bus. And my conclusion, I found out after all my research that the affected department cannot purchase a bus, but there is a possibility <coughs> that the affected department can set aside funds to purchase a bus in the future, as the affected director, Mr. Tom Hickman, told me. They are planning on diverting some money cut on renting so that they can be able to buy a bus, like some small vans in the future. And also the majority of the student athletes, <coughs> most of them that I interviewed, they prefer to travel on their own bus because they say it will be well monitored so they, will, they won't be able to worry about the bus, the bus breaking down or the bus catching a fire or anything of that sort. So they will be more comfortable traveling on their own school bus. And my recommendations were, <coughs> since we flow past two old buses, so I would recommend that they try to take care of them, put them in good condition, so that for the shorter travel distances, like maybe the basketball team is going to North Carolina to play basketball, they will travel on the, on the school bus so that they can save some money that money that would be saved <coughs> on using the school bus that can be used in the future, maybe to buy <coughs> a new bus. So some short distance travels, I would suggest that we use our own school buses so that we can be able to carry on renting. And Winthrop is also a big school that has, produ that has produced a number of professional players all over the country in baseball, basketball. So I would suggest that the athletic department contacts most of these alumni students so that they can help to donate some money to the school so that the school can be able to purchase a well-conditioned bus. This might not be <coughs> a one-year thing, but through all the savings that the school can do, the donations, I think <coughs> after maybe a short time of period, the school can be able to raise money that can be used to buy a bus. Because when I was talking to the athletic department, the athletic director, Mr. Tom Hickman, he told me that even if they bought one bus, it wouldn't be enough to transport student athletes. But my thing is, if we buy one bus, then it cuts on the money spent on renting another bus then that money would be saved in the future it accumulates and eventually we purchase our own bus and as we buy that one then we can also continue on saving then maybe get another bus then the problem might be solved in the near future so thanks for listening my name is Henry Kaluja again this is my presentation hope if there are any questions I welcome them but if there are no questions thanks for listening and Hope you have a good day. Thank you. Well done.